d d TV KPM d d TV KPM Turtle legs, turtle legs. Get your turtle legs over here. One for seven ringgit, two for ten, buy ten, free one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get your turtle legs. Haha, <laughs> while stocks last, come get your turtle legs. <laughs> stop, stop, please stop. Why are you being so cruel? How could you steal these eggs from the mother turtles that came ashore just to lay them? You stole these eggs and sell them to humans? Ah! The number of turtles is becoming less and less year by year and you selling their eggs are making things worse. Nearly all species of sea turtles are now classified as endangered. You know, endangered. And you know what's going to happen if you keep on doing this? Ah, no human on earth will ever see live turtles anymore. Just like me. Turtles will only be remembered as something in the past, not current, not future. Just like me, turtles can only be seen in museums. Just like me. Everyone, you are now watching Level 2 on DD TV KPM together with me, Sean Steven, as your host. Our subject for today is Science DLP Year 6. And of course, joining us today, we have Teacher Nina. Hi, hello everyone. Hello, Sean. Hi, Teacher. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm fine and I'm really excited. That's right. We would also like to introduce our sign language interpreter for today. We have Teacher Shamila. Hi, Teacher. How are you today? Great! And of course, I am super, super excited to find out what we are learning today. So teacher, what will our lesson be on today? Okay, so for today, we are going to learn about nature preservation mm -hmm. and conservation. Conservation, okay? Aha. So there are actually three learning objectives that we hope everyone will be able to achieve by the end of the show today. So the first one would be, everyone should be able to explain extinct animals mm -hmm. with examples. Okay. Okay. So there are a few of the extinct animals that you should know their names. All right. And you should know how they look and why they extinct. Mm -hmm. And then the second one, you should be able to define preservation and conservation of animals and plants. Right. So you know, you need to know the meaning of preservation and also conservation. Mm -hmm. And last but not least is to generate ideas on ways to preserve and conserve the animals and also plants. So ah. these are the learning objectives that we hope everyone will be able to achieve by the end of the show today, Sean. All right, I hope so too. And for those of you watching, I think this will be an excellent and interesting lesson indeed. So, shall we begin? Yes, of course. Okay, so just now you saw how the um, dinosaur, the triceratops were really upset. You know triceratops are already extinct. Oh yeah. Triceratops is a, a type of dinosaur. So it's a, like a make-believe but selling, people selling turtle eggs are real. And do you know that it's illegal? Oh. Hmm. So what is going to happen if we human beings keep on selling turtle eggs? Turtle eggs are not the same like chicken eggs or duck's eggs because mm -hmm. turtles are endangered species. So today, that is what we are going to learn, how dinosaurs who are already extinct, how it is correlated 
to endangered animals. So if we do not do anything with whatever is happening right now, mm -hmm. sooner or later, turtles might also extinct, <gasps> just like the dinosaurs. Oh, no! Mm. Of course, we do not want that to happen, right, Sean? No, Shawn? of course not. Ah, okay. So now what I want us to do is, uh, we need to try and name mm -hmm. extinct animals that you know. Let's try with Abang Sean first. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right. Hmm, maybe I can say the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, T-Rex, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah. Yes, that mm -hmm. is right. Mm -hmm. um, um, anything else that you know? Maybe the uh, Saber-toothed Tiger? Saber-toothed Tiger. Just yeah. like Power Rangers, is it? Yes, <laughs> and I actually have another one also from oh, that. Okay. Uh, the Mammoth. Yes, mammoth. It's like a big um, elephant, but it's different. Yeah, it's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. And uh, later on, maybe we can um, discuss what are the differences between a mammoth and also an elephant. Mm. Okay, so what is actually extinct animals? Extinct animals are animals that we will never see them alive anymore, mm -hmm. anywhere on Earth. Oh. Ah, because some animals they are extinct only in certain areas, but they are they are still there a few at a few other places. So, but um, dinosaurs, for example, are extinct like millions of years ago. Oh. Ah, have you ever wondered, Sean? How mm. can people know how dinosaurs look if mm. like millions of years ago we do not have cameras? That's right. right. Mm. So it is because humans saw or found out their fossils. Oh, Do you okay. know what fossils are, Sean? Hmm, I'm not so sure. What are those? Ah, fossils are actually bones. The bones of animals that are long dead. So from that bones, um, scientists, they, ha they can restructure and um, like, just like um, a gas, I think, mm -hmm. uh, like Im imagine how it would look like, the color. It might not be really precise, but it's about right. I mm. see. Okay. Okay. And mm -hmm. one more extinct animal. I think uh, most kids right now, mm -hmm. my pupils in school, they always say this animal. But uh, I, I do not know about it actually. Megalodons. What? What's yeah. that? When we were kids, we've never heard of megalodons, right? Mm -hmm. Megalodons are actually the greatest shark, the biggest shark ever. Wow. And it has also died millions of years ago. Humans mm -hmm. only found its teeth. I and see. the teeth is really, really huge. So from that teeth, they can make up that the size of that megalodon or this really big shark is like really, really huge. Wow, ah. Megal megalodons? Megal megalodons. Megalodons. Okay, you know what? I'm going uh -huh. to do a little research, but we're going to take a short break. Back to you after this on Level 2 on Diddy TV KPM. KPM. You are now watching Level 2 on Didate TV KPM. Our subject for today is Science DLP Year 6. So, Teacher Nina, mm -hmm. what will we be learning now? Okay, now we are going to look at six extinct animals, mm -hmm. just like in the Science Year 6 textbook. But of course, there are a lot more. But just these six, you need to know them by heart. Oh. You need to know how they look and why they became extinct. Okay, okay let's start. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are the six animals that you should know. Okay, uh -huh. the first one is a saber-toothed tiger. Mm. Okay, saber-toothed tiger. Mm -hmm. The difference between saber-toothed tiger and uh, the tigers that we have now is that they have uh, these saber-toothed tigers they had a really long canine teeth ah, ah it's okay. really long and yep. sharp okay um next one is oops mammoth mm -hmm. ah, okay that's how a mammoth looks like mm -hmm. and also dinosaurs of course everyone knows dinosaur yes and then quagga if you look at the 
quagga. Mm -hmm. It looks like a hybrid, like half of it, the front part is like a zebra. Yes. And the hind part is like a horse. Oh right? yes, that's yeah. right, yeah. But they are now extinct. We will never find them alive oh, anymore no. on Earth. That's really sad, right? Mm -hmm. And then we also have Tasmanian wolf. Mm -hmm. The frontal part looks like a wolf, yep. but the hind part looks like uh, the stripes of a tiger. So sometimes this Tasmanian wolf is, uh, um, is also known as Tasmanian tiger. It's the same animal, actually. Okay. Ah. And last but not least is the dodo bird. Aha. Uh, if you look closely, the dodo bird's wings are really small, so it's actually a flightless bird. That means it cannot fly. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Similar like chickens, yeah? Oh, okay, but I, I think I saw some chickens fly. Oh, yeah, I've seen that as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have something for Abang Sean to do. Ooh. Let's look at the first one. Mm. Abang Sean, you need to mm. guess the name of this extinct animal. Mm -hmm. Okay, it resembles, uh, I've uh, written the clues there, it okay. resembles elephants mm -hmm. and existed during Ice Age. Okay, uh -huh. Uh -huh, that's a very good okay. tip. Okay, it became extinct due to extreme weather change and was hunted by humans. Oh no. Ah, if you look closely, it mm -hmm. looks like elephant, but its tasks are really long mm -hmm. uh -huh, and curvier. And look at the body. It is like, uh, it's not really straight, the yeah. backbone of um, this animal mm -hmm. is not straight as the elephant. So, and one more thing, yes. look at its hair. Ah, uh, it's very furry long. or... Yes, mm. it's a bit long. So, what is hmm. the name of this extinct animal, Abang Sean? Let's see, I think uh, my friends who are, watch who are watching right now can also make a guess. Since the biggest tip that I can see that is it resembles an elephant. So, I guess this is a mammoth. Let's find out. Okay. Yay, Yay! you are absolutely <laughs> right. Okay, next one. Okay. Uh, okay. What about this? It hmm. resembled a hybrid of a horse and a zebra. Okay. It was hunted for its skin and meat hmm. until it became extinct. Hmm, uh -huh. okay. You mentioned this earlier. So the front part looks like a zebra, the mm -hmm. back looks like a horse. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. it is a quagga. Quagga? A quagga. Are you sure that's the how you pronounce it? Quagga or quagga? Oh. <laughs> okay, it's, okay, it's correct, Abang Sean. It's quagga. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, next one. Mm. Okay. This is a type of a flightless bird mm -hmm. found in Mauritius. Mauritius is a really small island um, in Africa. Okay. And it became extinct due to excessive hunting by sailors. Ah, uh, while right. their eggs were eaten by rats and cats. Oh, and that's really sad. Mm -hmm. So what is the name of this bird? Okay. It's a bird. All right. So I think among the photos that you showed me mm -hmm. earlier, this is the only bird. Mm -hmm. And the name also has well, the word bird in it. Mm -hmm. So if I'm not mistaken, this is a dodo bird. Dodo or DD? Oh, oh. <laughs> dodo bird. Yes, dodo bird. you are right, Abang Sean. It's dodo yeah. bird. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next one. Mm. Ah. This one, it has a, uh, it had a very long canine teeth. Okay. okay? Uh, up to 30 centimeters. Wow, long. that's really pretty long. long 30 yeah. centimeters. Yeah. Just like your long ruler. It lived during the Ice Age, just like the mammoth, and mm -hmm. became extinct due to extreme weather change. Hmm. What is the name of this animal? Okay, it looks like a tiger, mm -hmm. and it has it long canine teeth. Mm -hmm. So if I'm not mistaken, this is the saber tooth. Tiger. Ah, saber tooth tiger. Oh, is it a saber tooth lion? No, saber tooth tiger. <laughs> saber tooth tiger. Yes, you are right, Abang Sean. Yay! Okay, saber tooth tiger. And the next one, ah, this is really simple. Mm -hmm. It's a reptile that dominated the land for over 140 million years. Mm -hmm. And the biggest size uh, that we found was 26 meters long. Wow. And the smallest one, are like chicken sized. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it became extinct due to extreme weather change. Mm -hmm. So what is this animal? I think it is a mm -hmm. dinosaur. Mm -hmm. Of course, this is yeah. so easy. Yeah. Yes, it's a dinosaur. <laughs> That's okay. Right. Last but not least. Okay. Ah, okay. 
Sometimes this is also called a Tasmanian tiger. Oh, ah, I want to know the other name for it okay. because of its striped lower lower back, mm -hmm. and it became extinct due to excessive hunting, loss of habitat, and epidemic diseases. Hmm. Can you guess what the answer is? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because I think I know what the answer is. Another name for Tasmanian tiger, they're also known as the Tasmanian wolf. Aha! Uh -huh. Tasmanian wolf? Yes, oh. it is! Okay. <laughs> Just like a wolf. <laughs> Good job, Abang Sean. Okay, now I have something for you to do, Abang okay. Sean. Yes. Look in front of you, there is a scrapbook. Oh, wow! Ah, okay, oops, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it is almost complete, yeah. but I left something for you to do. I have one too. This is a smaller version. Ah. Ah. Okay, this um, I, this is a scrapbook whereby wow. I can, you can see it's it's popping up. Okay. Uh, okay. So mine is a little bit small and it doesn't have any um, wow. mm, information on it. Okay. So uh, see. Ah, okay. Abang Sean, yours. Mine also has a pop up uh, uh -huh. feature as well. See, and this is bigger. Testing. Yeah. Ah, wow. Okay. If you want to know that. how to make this pop up, it's really easy. Okay, uh, you can if you can focus here, just make a triangle mm -hmm. uh, on the bone of this uh, of your scrapbook. Okay, and you can just paste the pictures uh, front and back. Ah, and then you can add in any information. Okay, uh, just like that. So, Abang Sean, um, I think you should show mm -hmm. um, the the kids at home how okay. to do. All right. Okay. I have uh, mm -hmm. done the f um, the first one for you. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think you can put down your. Um, your scrapbook. Okay, I'll put it I'll out. Turn it to the first page. To the first page. Okay, the first page is not done yet. Ah, that's ah, right. It's empty. Okay, it's empty. Mm -hmm. So there you have um, the saber tooth tiger. Yes. Okay, I have put um, some uh, double sided tape underneath okay. it. Okay. Yeah, on both sides, right? Oh, yes. Okay. Actually, you can uh, um, flip it. Mm -hmm. It will become uh, a triangle. Can ah, you show? Okay, so if I do it like this. Flip the bottom part. The bottom part as well. Aha! Ah, so that is how you paste it. Aha, so remember, yeah. to do this, you need to put the glue or the double-sided tape mm -hmm. on the same side as the picture. So, uh, Abang Sean, you can okay. take off uh, the... The double-sided tape. Yes, so take here, it off. Very okay. Remove this on one side and, and also on side. the other side. So okay. you said, uh, like teacher Nina mentioned, it has to be on the same side. Same side as the picture. Okay, okay. so now this is the most important part. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, how are you going to do it? Can I hold it for you? Sure. Okay. Okay. All right. So this would be um, the bone of uh, the, the book. Mm -hmm. So you need to place it just right here. Okay. okay. Abang Sean, mm -hmm. just place it. Uh, okay, so just place it like just this. Just put yeah? it like that. Uh, okay. Like this, correct? Um, or oh, yes. Uh, yes. Front a bit. Okay, okay. Here. Okay. So here. All right. Okay. okay. Just one part. Okay. And then you just leave it like that. Oh. Yes. Okay. And you close it. Just close it. Yep. Oh. Close it. And then when you open, <gasps> it will oh, stand wow. up. It will pop up. Uh, Automatically pops up just yeah, like that. Just like that. See. Ah. Isn't it easy? Ah. So mm -hmm. then um, to complete your scrapbook, Abang Sean, yes. remember we have uh, this uh, information about these animals. Mm -hmm. So now you need to paste it. Okay. okay. So let's find out about uh, saber tooth tiger. What okay. do you remember about saber tooth tiger? Okay, from this, uh -huh. I remember they have really long canine teeth. Uh huh. They okay. Got, uh, they were extinct due to extreme weather change. Yeah. They look like a tiger. Uh -huh. So let me just see which one it is. Okay, which one? Uh, this one. Yes. Yes. So just put on yeah. some glue. Okay. And you just paste, paste the information. In front here. Yeah. Okay. So I have some glue. And just, oops, I'm just gonna paste it here. Oh, wait, I gotta open yeah, this first. Okay. You know, making scrapbook is really, really fun because I know nowadays uh, pupils like to do it digitally, like making uh, slides. But sometimes I think when we do scrapbook, you use your fingers and you cut pictures and you find pictures, you will actually um, hone your skills on uh, making things. Um, in 
like crafty way. You can make things really nice and beautiful, just like that. Yay! Yeah. Ah, okay. So you can continue with okay. the other animals. Mm -hmm. Ah, sure okay. okay, number two is Tasmanian wolf. Tasmanian wolf. What do you remember about Tasmanian wolf? Okay, Let's so try and see Tasmanian if Abang Sean remember. Front part looks like a wolf, back part looks like a zebra, uh, oh. also known as a Tasmanian tiger. So let me see if I can mm -hmm, find it. Mm -hmm. Aha! This is the one! Yay! Alright. Okay. I'm just showing it to everyone. Is this correct? Ah oh, yes, of you are right. It is. <laughs> so you must point? be really sure you are right because once you have pasted it, <laughs> uh, if it's wrong, if it's not right, and then you must do some amendments. Oh there. no! It's okay if you make mistakes. People do that sometimes, That's but true. it is how you overcome it. Uh, okay, right. so this is the one here already nicely. Um, Abashan, I think you can show the upper part oh, of it. Oh, upper I part as well. Uh, oh, yes, look. information on that. Yeah, there's a that, map up here. Yes, where Tasmanian wolves were found before. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Which part of um, on Earth that we could find a Tasmanian wolf before it's, it extinct? Ah, That's right. So okay. here, based on the map, you can see where its location is. Mm -hmm. You can see the Tasmanian wolf up here. Mm -hmm. You can see that. And you know yeah. where is Tasmania? It's on the southern part. Uh, it's a, it's it's actually a small island mm -hmm. on the south southeast part of Australia. Ah, ah all right. Okay. So that's the next one. The, the next, next one. We have one. A mammoth. Ah, mammoth. So what do you this remember? This one here resembles an elephant, but mm -hmm. of course uh, this was during the Ice Age. Yes, Ice yeah? Age. And uh, it became extinct due to. Uh, extreme weather change and of course was hunted by humans yeah hmm. maybe because it cannot move really fast it moves That's slowly right. so it can be hunted easily by That's humans true. i think because of its really large size right yes okay so i'm just place this here oh yay i'm really excited because this scrapbook is almost complete That's thank right. you Abang Sean. so check this out yes. look at this so at the top again we have the map Mm -hmm. And we got the pop-up in the middle and then it's information regarding yes. uh, this extinct animal. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, Sean, you can also decorate your um, scrapbook with mm -hmm. stickers, nice stickers, yeah. and also washi tapes. It's up to you, your creativity. Yeah, I'll probably add that later, but let's complete this okay. one here. So Three we also more. have ah, the dinosaur, oh, okay. very easy stuff. It's a reptile uh -huh. and um, it got extinct due to extreme weather change. Mm -hmm. I think it's this one over here. Ooh, this uh, one. Okay, is that right? This reptile dominate, uh, dominated the land for over 140 mm -hmm. million years. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's just stick this real fast. Mm -hmm. And here. Yay! Nice job, Abang Sean. Ah. Yeah, right? I'm Ooh. so sorry. <clears throat> okay. I got a bit excited. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> and the next one. Ooh, a quagga. Quagga? Okay, quagga is something like a zebra in the front. Mm -hmm. Back like a horse. Aha. Uh -huh. And Yay, you got that right. Mm -hmm. Well done, Abang Sean. Okay, and let's stick this. Okay. Really quick and nice. Again, we have the information here and at the top. Ooh, whoa, nice. top is slightly different here. Mm -hmm. Not only shows a map, but also some kind of a diagram. Aha, uh -huh. like uh, different types of horses, uh, zebras, horses, and also quagga, and where they can be found. Okay. All right. And I think we're moving on to the final one, uh -huh. which is a dodo, dodo bird. Dodo bird. Okay. So uh -huh. this is a dodo bird, and okay. I think this is the one uh, yep. that you mentioned earlier, a flightless bird found mm -hmm. in Mauritius. Okay. And I'm going to stick this right now. And I'm just going to show to everyone 
how it is or how it will look like. I think we're almost complete. Yay. Here. And there we go. Look Yay. at that. So now we have a completed scrapbook of extinct animals and actually you can add more if you want you can find uh, more information you can just find it from the internet or mm -hmm. encyclopedias or you can find from books from magazines yeah. you can do a little bit of exploration oh isn't that nice look at that so interesting yeah. and uh, because i've already completed all this mm -hmm. do i get any rewards of course abang sean you will get three stars for this wow, yeah three stars and for those of you who are guests at home as well mm -hmm. i got it right i believe do they get stars as well oh they will if they do like abang sean Mm -hmm. and you show it to your teacher and present it to your classmates that's right well mm -hmm. done everyone and right now we're going to take a short break back to you after this on did it tv kpm KPM Oh, you are now watching level 2 on Did It TV KPM together with me, Sean Steven. We also have teacher Nina as well as teacher Shamila as our sign language interpreter and also these really cool creatures that are now extinct. Mm -hmm. So what are we learning for this segment? Okay, so now we are going to look at nature preservation mm -hmm. what is the meaning of preservation mm -hmm. and also conservation Ooh, preservation oh. and conservation. conservation what are those oh, okay so first we need to link back with what we have learned before about extinct animal mm -hmm. so when we know that there are animals that have extinct not only animals actually there are also plants that have already extinct so now what we need to do is we need to preserve whatever we have left okay so what is actually preserve preservation preservation means keeping animals and plants in their original and balanced state that is preservation that means the animals and the plants in its original place mm -hmm. if it is balanced everything around them is enough they have enough food to eat enough um, all what they need to survive so we need to keep that make sure it is kept like that forever and nothing can destruct it okay uh, so that is preservation uh -huh. so now i'm going to show you some of the ways or the efforts that we can do to preserve plants and animals okay let's start mm -hmm. with the first one is a law enforcement ah okay so laws laws enforcement is is animals there are certain animals that are already endangered yeah endangered animals are actually animals that uh, their numbers have already depleted oh. they are very much less left on this world so that is what we call as endangered animals okay so these animals need to be kept in their um, original place and we must make sure that others won't um, dis, uh, destroy their place mm -hmm. and also will not hunt them so we need to enforce stricter stricter laws okay uh, for that mm -hmm. so that is what we do to preserve these animals and also plants to make sure that they will not become extinct okay okay the next one is selective logging selective logging yeah so what is actually selective logging we humans we need to survive too and with uh, urbanization we need to build more houses for us to live in mm -hmm. we need to build maybe factories and offices so when we need to lock we need to clear some space we must make sure that we only cut trees that are mature enough and not cut 
the young trees. Oh, uh, so okay. that is selective logging. Mm -hmm. So make sure that we do not cut the young ones. I um, see. So that is selective logging. Okay. Okay. Next one is educating the public. Mm -hmm. Ah, educating the public. For example, we have a wildlife day and we must make sure that everyone knows why is it important to make sure that we protect these endangered animals. Mm -hmm. Just think about the animals that have extinct. We do not want to add more to that. So that is why we need to educate by having a like wildlife day or sometimes we also have um, uh, campaigns to make sure that people really understand and not just take things for granted. Yeah, mm. Mm, that's true. And the next one is gazetting protected areas. Ah, some areas are really uh, good. They are very, very um, nice and conducive for plants and animals to live in, especially mm -hmm. the endangered animals. Yes. So we must make sure that that place is protected. Gazetted means mm -hmm. that that place must be protected and not, um, not just anyone can go into that place and do whatever they want. Ah, ah okay. That is, it's, it's not like um, we protect it like or put guards on it. Mm -hmm. We need to um, understand that Gazetting protected areas, for example, national parks or marine parks and also Ramsar sites, mm -hmm. that is to protect that area and all the living things in it from poachers or illegal loggers. Ah, uh, okay. So now, um, do you understand, Sean? Um, we are not only protecting or um, preserving that area okay. physically, mm -hmm. yes, we are doing that. But we are also uh, need to protect it with what I told you just now, like educating the public. Yes. It is not complete if we just put like, like I said, not just guards, but if um, the public do not understand the need to protect these areas, so they will just go in there and take things that they want, like maybe um, capture orangutans and take them home. Oh no. Oh, that is illegal. Mm. Ah. So for laws enforcement, you cannot have any part of endangered animals with you at any time. Yeah. If you are found to have any parts like tiger, mm -hmm. uh, some people like to take their claws. <gasps> so if you are found, you will be prosecuted. Oh, mm. oh okay. Uh, so I hope everyone understands that protecting or preserving an area is just not the physical area, but also we need to um, educate the public Mm -hmm. and also enforce laws and don't forget the selective logging and also reduce, reuse and recycle. Uh -huh. uh, why is that? Because as we know, papers are made from, uh, from, from trees? trees, right? Yeah. So when we reduce the number of paper, mm -hmm. we will of course reduce the number of woods that need to be cut. Uh, oh. So that is another way of we preserve what is already there. Yes. Ah, okay. And last but not least, which is very, very important, mm -hmm. is boycotting products made from endangered animals. Oh. Like, for example, just now, you sold some turtle eggs, that, Abang Sean. That wasn't Ooh. me, that was someone else. <laughs> <laughs> so we must boycott that. Okay, yes, now, that's true. I'm telling you now, Abang Sean, mm -hmm. and everyone at home, I want you to feel guilty if you eat things like turtle eggs or maybe lemang periuk kera. Oh, mm, that uh -huh. is also illegal, actually. Uh, because pitcher plant, lemang periuk kera is made from pitcher plant and pitcher plant is actually an endangered plant. Oh, ah, okay. So I want you to feel guilty because mm -hmm. who knows, one day it's because of you like eating it, mm -hmm. uh, it will become extinct. Oh no. Maybe you'll never find a turtle, a live turtle anymore or you'll never see pitcher plants anymore. It's because of you. So I want you to have that feeling of guilty. Oh, so when you have for example, um, someone you know, family member, asks you, oh, come and have this turtle eggs. Please don't. Please don't eat it. Because it is actually from endangered 
species. Mm -hmm. mm, so that's really, really bad. Yeah, that's mm. true, that's true. So th these are the six ways that we ha can uh, preserve plants and also animals and protect them and make sure they will never become extinct. Okay, now okay. let's move on mm -hmm. to conservation. Conservation is returning animals and plants to their natural conditions. Okay, conservation is a bit different from preservation. Okay, I'm going to show you how. Okay, conservation means maybe these animals live in a place that is not conducive anymore. Okay. Maybe there are excessive logging mm -hmm. or maybe poachers or hunters like to go there and hunt for these animals. Yeah. So we need to bring these animals to another place that is safer and we must uh, make sure that this new place has the conditions that are very um, uh, conducive for these animals. Ah, so the first one would be setting up conservation centers, for example, sanctuaries or rehabilitation mm -hmm. centers. We have one in Sepilo for orangutan, uh -huh, rehabilitation yeah. centers, whereby we take um, babies, mm -hmm. uh, orangutan, ba um, orangutan babies who have lost their mothers, oh. maybe due to um, poachers or excessive logging, so they lost their habitat. So we bring them to these rehabilitation centers and we nurture them and we train them mm -hmm. so that we will send them back to the wild and they can fend for themselves ah, without their mothers. So these okay. orphan, uh, orphan orangutans can survive on their own after that. I see. Okay, and the next one is replanting. Mm -hmm. uh, we can reforestation. That means we plant back um, trees in the forest, yep. and also replanting a mangrove trees mm -hmm. in mangrove areas. Ah, ah okay. So I, I guess now um, we have uh, understand. We have understood about preservation and conservation. Now let's ask Abang Sean to do some exercise. All okay, right. Abang Sean. Yes. On the board there, okay. I have wow. um, whatever I have told you just now. Mm -hmm. So now your clue would be the pictures. I hope by listening to what I'm saying, now you're using your visuals mm -hmm. to remember back. So the first one would be the preservation efforts so this or one ways over here? to preserve. Yes. Here, this one, preservation, yes. keeping animals and plants in their original and balanced state. Mm -hmm. So for this, I have to label the pictures, yes, right? Yes, label the pictures. Look mm. at the first one. What okay. comes into your mind when you see um, trees? Mm -hmm. uh, and okay. then next, and then the there's... bigger trees are gone, but ah. not the smaller ones. So I think this has to do with logging, mm -hmm. but it is uh, by choosing certain trees. So I yes. think this is uh, it's selective logging. Selective logging. Ah, there yeah. we go. Okay, we have the good job. Here. And that's I'm true. Place them that here. is correct, Avang Shaw. Thank you, awesome. Teacher Nina. The next one. Ah, next one. So what we got are those? World Wildlife Day, World Wildlife Day here, different ones. I think ah. this is something to do to let people know mm -hmm. about uh, what we're facing in terms of endangered as well as mm -hmm. extinct animals. And the oh. importance of preservation. That's right. So ah. I think this is something to do with educating. Yes, um, educating. Let's see whether we have the answer here. Yes! Educate Yay. the public. All right, so let's place okay. this here. Okay. Yep. The next one we have is save the planet, save paper, stop plastic pollution. Hmm. I see. There's this one over here. We reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> so oh, I think that's a really big clue. Uh, yeah. So uh, yes, yes, I think that's true as well. When we uh -huh. use less, um, you know, plastics, or yes. we don't use plastics altogether, like recyclable um, think or reusable you bags. Print. Ah. Yes, correct. <laughs> okay. So that's that. Uh, maybe we can start off with the one right at the end, so I can see the orangutan, mm -hmm. the tiger. And all this, so I would say they are this all endangered would be, animals, mm -hmm. and you cannot hunt them. Ah, if there is a restriction, then there should be a law in place. So here, law enforcement. Yes. Okay. Aha. Here we go. And the next one. Aha. These are actually protected areas, if I'm not mm, mistaken. Yes. So this will be gazette protected areas. 
Have you been to any protected areas like Taman Negara? Ah uh, yes, I've been to ah, Taman Negara, okay. actually, our oh, national park. Yes. Beautiful place, yep. and it's really well uh, managed to ensure that you know it's well taken care of. Yes. And last but not least, we see like turtle eggs and uh, all these other plants, which, yes, which mm -hmm. is sh or which we should not take because it and the what is endangered species. Yep. And that's why we have to boycott, boycott them. Boycott these products. Yep. There we go. And I think we've completed for the preservation, preservation side. efforts. Yes. Okay. And okay. Uh, next we have here conservation. So returning animals and plants to their natural conditions. Mm -hmm. So here, um, I think this is something to do with re rehabilitation. Yes. Like you mentioned, let's say for example, if there is a baby orangutan who lost its, its mom, mom, and mm -hmm. we need to somehow train it and nurture it so that it is able to fend for itself yes. when we put them back into the wild. Mm -hmm. So that would be setting up centers or rehabilitation centers. Yes. And for turtles, we have sanctuaries where we protect the mother turtles who are laying eggs and make sure that those eggs will not be sold or stolen and sold. Yeah. Very bad. Very, very bad indeed. <laughs> yep. And here I see there is uh, people planting something and then there's trees as well. So I would assume this, for example, if there is an area that has uh, maybe illegal logging, for mm -hmm. example, or uh, there are space Excessive for us to logging. somehow um, increase back the number of plants trees, or yeah. trees, then we should, uh, one of the ways to conserve or for conservation is replanting. Yay! Oh my god, Abang Sean, you did <laughs> everything right! Yay! I'm so proud of you! Thank you so much, Teacher Nina. So, okay. did I do everything correct and well? Yes, you did. Yes, you have, Abang Sean. <laughs> everything is right. I think you deserve more stars. I'll give you five stars, Abang five Sean. Five stars! Wow! Yay. Thank you so much. And for those of you who also helped me somehow, also guessed it correct do they get stars as well yes they do yes <laughs> well done everyone and i guess right now mm -hmm. we can take a short break back to you after this on level two on the tv kpm <laughs> KPM. Hello everyone, you are now watching Level 2 on DDT TV KPM. Our subject for today is Science DLP Year 6. So, Teacher Nina, mm -hmm. what will we be doing for this segment? Okay, so now we have learned about extinct animals, mm -hmm. nature preservation and also conservation. Yes. So now what we are going to do is we are going to try and answer questions, real life questions, <gasps> um, situations that maybe you can apply what you have known. Okay. okay. So let's start with the first one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pangolins, or in Bahasa Melayu, we call them tenggiling, yep. are one of the endangered animals in Malaysia. Ah. So according to some people, the pangolin scales, meat and skin are believed to have medicinal properties. Okay. So people like to hunt pangolins for making medicines. Ah. So now, what I want us to think about mm -hmm. is how we can preserve and conserve pangolins uh, to overcome this situation. What okay. do you think, Abang Sean? What hmm. should we do in terms of preservation and also conservation these pangolins? Hmm. So in terms of preservation, maybe we could set up some law or law enforcement to ensure that you know, whoever who even tries to hunt these animals mm -hmm. or poach these animals will be put to jail. Yes, jail or, them. Yes. Jail them. <laughs> And also, aside from that, uh, maybe we could also uh, have a gazetted area, so mm -hmm, wherever they live, uh -huh. um, their habitats are also not destroyed, so they can live in peace and still in their original wildlife situation. Okay, what about uh, school-going children? What can we do? I think it's good to also educate the young, actually mm -hmm. not only the young, but the public in general, mm -hmm. of the dangers uh, of... Um, 
of hunting or or you know endangering a species like the yeah. pangolin. Um, because so kids that, might find pangolins are really cute because they can curve up like a ball. Yes, that's ah, right. So how are we going to tell them that it is not right to do that? Maybe we can also you know treat it as if we have our own pet. Right, mm -hmm. so like how we we show love to our pet, but because pets are more of household mm -hmm. animals, but pangolins are more wildlife. So the same we thing goes. We cannot bring them home. Correct, because then we will be persecuted. Yeah, but we have to also, I think, um, uh, what we call appreciate life itself. So yep. you know, endangering them not only will they go extinct, but also mm -hmm. it will hurt them as well. Yes, maybe when we think that they are cute, but maybe when we bring them home they will never survive. That's right. So, yeah, death may be it's your fault. Oh, Why no. do you bring them home? Yeah. Leave it there. Okay. <laughs> All right, what mm -hmm. about conservation efforts? So, what can um, we do? In terms of conservation, maybe we can set up rehabilitation centers mm -hmm. uh, so that uh, in case if their habitats were lost or mm -hmm. ruined by uh, logging or excessive logging, um, there is a place for them to, to nurture them and also to take care of them. Or in case if they have lost their mom and they are very, very young and mm. cute and they can't protect themselves in the wildlife, so we are able to protect, nurture and also train them when they are old and strong enough to yes. go into the wild, they are prepared. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow, Abang Sean. Yeah. I'm really impressed with you, Abang Sean. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. Good job. Awesome. Thank you. And how many stars do I get for this? Ah, okay. Wait, there's one oh, there's more, more question for you. Okay. Okay. So, next question mm -hmm. is about data. Oh. Ah, so nowadays everything is about data. Mm -hmm. So, this is an example of data uh, information of the number of elephants, okay, mm -hmm. that are found in forest, one forest, just call it Forest X. Okay. Recorded from the year 2015 to 2019. Yes. So as you can see from the chart, from 2015 to 2017, the number goes down. Ah. It has decreased. Okay. And then from 2017 up to 2019, mm -hmm. the numbers are increasing. Ah, okay. So now, um, mm. do you think you are able, you will be able to explain yes. why it goes down mm -hmm. and then it goes up again? Okay, let's start with decreasing. Why do you think the number of elephants decrease from 2015 to 2017? Hmm, maybe for a few reasons. Number mm -hmm. one, maybe uh, excessive logging. So mm -hmm. maybe their habitats were ruined. Ah. So they are unable to live properly. For example, if we lose our home, where are we going to live? Mm. We might actually, you know, it will affect our lives. So yes. I think it's the same for these elephants uh -huh. due to excessive logging. Yes, loss of habitat. Sometimes they will not survive so or sometimes they just move to other places yes i think we have heard uh, recently that um people found young um a small elephant uh on the road right mm -hmm. uh, maybe because of um it lost its habitat maybe. so it's trying to find a new place for them yes mm. or maybe because also because they were hunters <laughs> were hunting down mm. animals for their meat or for their tusks. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe that could, could lead to also the decrease in uh, the number of animals. Yes. So can you see, Abang Sean, mm -hmm. mm, it's because of humans, yes. right? Yeah. Excessive logging, humans. And uh, hunting, also humans. Yes, mm. that's true. Mm. <sighs> okay. We need to educate more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now what about the trend, uh, the trend of going up? Going up, I would uh -huh. believe maybe because there was uh, law enforcement okay. uh, being you know, set up so that um, mm. all these animals or these elephants are now somehow protected. Okay. So, maybe so how, how does that lead to the increased number? I would assume that uh, because no one is, uh, disturbing, is disturbing them, them, so they can multiply and they can also grow bigger so mm. that you know, they can live their lives to the fullest. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. That's very good. Or oh, maybe they are put in rehabilitation centers. Yes. Ah, okay. So that is how we can actually preserve and protect these animals, this elephant, from becoming extinct. Yes. Yay! Okay, mm -hmm. Abang Sean, you did very good. Thank you. All right. Okay, uh -huh. let's uh, recap mm -hmm. our um, learning objectives. Yes. If we can, uh, Abang Sean can still remember, then only he will get his stars. Okay, the first one, um, explain extinct animals with the examples. Just give two. 
Okay, um, say to tiger and mammoth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, define preservation. Uh, preservation is ensuring that they are always, uh, you know, remain as they are. Uh -huh. Keeping, uh, keeping, remember the, the term keeping animals and plants in their original and balanced state. Uh, yes. So make them stay there and mm -hmm. make sure the conditions are really good for the conducive for them. Yes. And what about conservation? You still remember? Bangshan? Conservation is more of protecting what we already have. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, returning back, returning it, uh, uh, returning them to their original state. Uh, yeah, maybe uh, they have lost their habitat, mm -hmm. so we can bring them to another place, and we set up that place to make sure the conditions are right for these animals and yes. also plants. Okay, mm -hmm. good job, Abang Sean. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, um, can you tell us what are the ways to preserve mm -hmm. uh, animals and also plants? Uh, just give two. Okay, so um, law enforcement uh -huh. and gazette protected areas. Yay, good job. <laughs> what Thank about you. conservation? Uh, setting up rehabilitation centers yes. and replanting. Yay, good Yay. job. Okay, Abang Sean for having all this you deserve six stars! Wow! Yay. Thank you so much! And what about my overall performance for the entire um, entire lesson today? Okay, so overall, Abang Sean has uh, achieved what we have, uh, the learning outcomes. Mm -hmm. So Abang Sean did really well and he deserves all the stars that he wants. Yay! But, but I want to make sure Abang Sean, you remember to not to eat mm -hmm. food from endangered species. That is a change in behaviour that we hope everyone are here in the studio and also at home remember. You must do your part in protecting these endangered animals so that they won't become extinct mm -hmm. like quagga, like dinosaurs. So everyone, each one of us, play our part. Yes, mm -hmm. that's true. And uh, in case if any of our pupils who are watching right now, mm -hmm. um, if they want to get enhancement exercises or the uh, materials for this lesson, where can they get it from? Oh, they can get from Sumbaku. All right. Aha. Thank you so much once again, teacher, uh, teacher Nina, for our lesson for today, as well as Teacher Shamila for being our sign language interpreter of the day. And for those of you watching, hopefully it has been beneficial to all of you. And we'll see you once again in our next show on Delete TV KPM. Till then. Take care and bye! bye.